Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Definition of friction and its importance in motion. Answer. Title. Understanding friction and its importance in motion. What is friction? Friction is a force that resists the motion of one surface over another. It happens when two surfaces come into contact and attempt to move against each other. Imagine you're trying to slide a heavy box across the floor. You push, and yet the box doesn't move right away. It takes some effort to get it started. This resistance you're experiencing? That's friction. Types of friction. There are several types of friction, but we'll focus on three main types. One, static friction. This is the friction that keeps an object at rest from moving. For example, if you try to push a sofa across your living room floor, static friction holds it in place until you apply enough force. Two, kinetic or sliding friction. Once an object starts moving, kinetic friction comes into play. This is the force that opposes movement between two surfaces sliding against each other. 3. Rolling friction. This occurs when an object rolls over a surface like wheels on pavement or ball bearings inside machinery. The importance of friction in motion. Friction plays a vital role in our daily lives and impacts everything from walking to driving cars. 1. Walking. When we walk or run, our shoes grip onto the ground due to friction providing us traction, preventing us from slipping. 2. Driving cars. The tires on cars need sufficient friction with roads for safe driving, especially while making turns or during braking, preventing skidding or slipping out of control. 3. Machinery functioning. Many machines rely on friction for their functioning like brakes, using high frictive materials, converting kinetic energy into heat, slowing down vehicles efficiently. How does surface affect friction? The amount of friction between two objects can be influenced by how smooth or rough their surfaces are as well as what materials they're made up of. If both surfaces are very smooth, like glass on glass, they will have less friction and slide easily over each other. If the surfaces are rough, like sandpaper on wood, they will have a lot of friction and it will be difficult to slide them against each other. In conclusion, Friction is a fundamental force that affects everything from simple everyday activities to complex machinery operations. Understanding how it works not only provides us with insights into why things behave the way they do, but also equips us with knowledge to manipulate situations for our advantage. For example, by choosing appropriate footwear for different surfaces or designing efficient braking systems in vehicles.